food is fabulous. It's all home style cooked. 20 Towns and 20 Days Fall Edition is taking us back to Old Lyme. And one of the must stops along the shoreline is Coffee's Country Market. Channel 3's Kevin Hogan found out it's been a place to go for many people for many years. This is the heart of Coffee's Country Market, the kitchen. It's where locals come for fresh baked goods and coffee. Ellen. Deli breakfast and lunch delights to go and even homemade dinners. 1,000 meals a week along with a popular catering business are all generated right here. Third generation owner, Ken Coffee. It's a multi-generational family business that's got, there's that continuity, but I think it's harder to find this business with the quality that we insist on. That quality mandate began with Ken's grandfather and grandmother in the 1950s and grew with Ken's father, Ken, and again with a whole plaza makeover in 2003 with an expanded food market. Today, they employ more than 30 talented chefs and preparers led by Ken's wife, Teresa. Every time I thought we'd find this leveling off point, she just kept making it better and then the next catering job came in and the next office party came in. You can get everything fresh to go here, from soups to salads, even a variety of take-home meals and desserts. When fall rolls around, the butter ice pumpkin cookies come out. Wow, no wonder they're a favorite. The food is fabulous. It's all home style cooked. It reminds me of home because this is what homes look like. For me, I could just come up and get a grinder, enjoy it. People who aren't used to gourmet food, they're not going to be put off by the food here. It's small town gourmet to go, created with love and care. One yeah. little um, case of, of cold cuts, and but now, now look at they turned this into a huge uh, family business. I'm just proud of the continuity and. and the alumni that over time we've had people come in, they've had this been part of their experience. For 20 towns and 20 days at Coffee's in Old Lyme, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.